Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Regarding the concept of the hereafter, the misconception I would like to discuss today relates to a sign of the day of judgment. It is said that near the, near the day of judgment, near the end of time, uh, the Prophet Jesus would appear again. And he is counted as such, as one of the signs of the day of judgment. Now, first of all, it needs to be understood that the Quran is absolutely silent. Uh, there is absolutely not, a, not a one single verse which says that the, the Prophet Jesus وسلم, would reappear near the day of judgment. The, the Quran is absolutely silent about it. Not only is the Quran silent about it, there are a couple of uh, instances in the Quran, some, some sections of verses in the Quran, uh, which negate this fact very, very blatantly. Uh, of course, uh, I'd like to uh, state here that this primarily this concept has been stated in some of the narr narratives of hadith, and it needs to be understood that whenever a hadith narrative falls against the Quran, it cannot be accepted. And as is the case here, that the Quran is not only silent, but there are verses in the Quran uh, which the way which they, they, they are cited, the way the Almighty has revealed them, it shows uh, that they stand against the fact that the, the Prophet Jesus will reappear. Because if he had to reappear, then the, 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 the sections I'm just going to describe before you, they must should have they should have contained his second advent, his reappearance. Now, the first of these uh, instances, which is very clear and very blatant, is found in Surah Maida. Uh, and it is primarily a dialogue which shall take place between the Almighty and the Prophet Jesus وسلم, and the hereafter. And the Almighty will ask Jesus in that dialogue, it's stated in the Quran, that he will ask him about the, about the, the, uh, the error in which the Christians had fallen in after him. And he would ask him that did he uh, tell his followers to deify him and his uh, mother Mary وسلم, in reply, the, among other things, the Prophet Jesus will say that as long as he was among them, uh, he asked them to obey God and to worship God. In Allah Rabbi wa Rabbakum, which is, who is his Lord and he's the Lord of his adversaries. So as long as he was uh, amongst them, he did not say anything. And uh, after that, he says that once he was, uh, once he died, when actually the words are, when the, the Almighty gave death to him, Jesus says, Kunta anta So the Almighty was watching over them. So this was absolutely appropriate place in which had the reappearance of Jesus taken place, uh, the, the words of the Prophet Jesus would not have been appropriate here. The, he, the way he says that uh, he would, uh, that he was, as long as he was among, amongst his people, uh, they were absolutely uh, worshipping the one and only Lord. Had this been the case that he had reappeared before the day of judgment, of course these words were not appropriate. He would have said, he should have said that before the day of judgment also that he had, he had gone once again to them and he had scolded them or informed them or warned them of, this, of these erroneous concepts. Instead he says that uh, as long as he was amongst them, he actually told them that he, they must worship the one and only Lord and after his own death if the Almighty was uh, watching over them. So this is a place in which had re, uh, Jesus gone again before the day of judgment, he should have said that uh, he should not have expressed his, his ignorance of the fact that these people had deified him. Uh, he should have said that he did not of course uh, commanded them to worship uh, him and his mother and not only this but uh, when he had gone again before the day of judgment at that instance too he had warned them not to do this but we find that there are no such words here. And I'll read out the exact uh, text of the Quran before you so that uh, it is understood very clearly. The words of the Quran are, مَا قُلْتُ لَهُمْ إِلَّا مَا أَمَرْتَنِي بِهِ أَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبَّكُمْ وَكُنْتُ عَلَيْهِمْ شَهِيدٌ مَا دُمْتُ عَفِيهِمْ فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي كُنْتَ أَنْتَ الرَّقِيبَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَأَنْتَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيد so mm, this is verse 117 of Surah Maida, and its simple translation is, Never did I say to them except what you commanded me to do, and that is worship Allah my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them while I dwelt with them. When you gave death to me, you were the watcher over them, and you are a witness of all things. So of course, as I said earlier, had Jesus reappeared before the Day of Judgment, this dialogue is absolutely inappropriate. His, his own response, his own answer is absolutely inappropriate. He should have said this, that before, uh, bef before the Day of Judgment, once again he had reappeared and he had uh, warned them of, this, of these erroneous concepts. We find no such mention here, of course. Similarly, there's another place in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, in which again the Almighty actually uh, describes what will happen uh, to Jesus and his followers right from his own death till the Day of Judgment. 
and there is of course uh, no mention of any reappearance here and since in recent demand it had his reappearance something been something of a reality then this was the place and this was one of the place in which it should have been mentioned so the words of surah ali imran are this is verse 55 they read inni mutawaffika wa rafi'uka ilayya wa mutahhiruka min alladhina kafaru wa ja'alu alladhina tabauka fawqa alladhina kafaru ila yawm alqiyamah so the simple translation reads, O oh Jesus, I have decided to give death to you and raise you to myself and cleanse you from these people who have denied you. I shall make those who follow you superior to those who reject fate till the day of judgment. Then to me you all shall return. So at that time I shall give my verdict in what you have been differing in. So this again is a place in which had Jesus uh, supposed to have been uh, appeared again, had he supposed to come again before the day of judgment, this was the place that, where his re-advent or his second advent should have been mentioned. So in both these instances which I have just narrated before you, we find the Quran is absolutely silent. Not only is it silent, but the fact of the matter is that had Jesus to reappear before the day of judgment, these are the two instances in the Quran in which sense and reason demand that the way these verses have been mentioned in the Quran, his reappearance, his second arrival should have been mentioned here. But we find, of course, that there is no such mention. So in the presence of this analysis, in the presence of this data, we, shall, we, can, we can safely say that the reappearance of Jesus before the Day of Judgment and to consider him to be a sign of Day of Judgment is something which is not soundly established by the sources of Islam. Wa ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات